Let resolution be your solution. And so, in conclusion, I must apologize for the quality of the news today. The news bulletin was the same length as usual, even though nothing much had happened. But that's the way of news in uh, commercial uh, radio and, uh, I'm, I would imagine, TV. So I know not much happened and uh, there was nothing much to say, but we managed to fill the half an hour, so I hope our subscribers and everyone is happy. Back to Mike Stand in the studio, I've been Ronson Leiter with the news. Oh, Ronson, don't worry. I'll do the weather and try and cheer everybody up. Today it is going to rain. It is going to rain tomorrow and the following day and the following day after that. So get your umbrella. It is always raining. Even when the sun is out in this country, it rains. The one good thing about it is you get the rainbows. Over to Mike Stand in the studio for his regular program. Mike Stand in your calls. Thank you very much uh, there, Francisco. Now, it's Poland Day here uh, in the UK. So therefore, we're not allowed on due to radio regulations to talk about politics. So what we're going to do is talk about your favorite comedians of the past. Who did you enjoy and what was it about their uh, act that particularly inspired you? And our first caller is Arthur. Well, yes, yes, hello, yes, I... uh... I'll tell you who I liked, uh, Jim Davidson and Larry Grayson, they were my favourites, and uh, uh, yes, I, I think I, uh, I enjoy them. And what was it particular about uh, these two comedians that uh, pleased you so much? Well, Larry Grayson created a fantasy world, didn't he, with all his characters, Slack Alice, Lilo, Lily, or whatever, and all them people, and uh, Everard and all that, and I thought it was whimsical, uh, even though I don't, you know, I'm... Some of it was made me a little bit uncomfortable and I questioned my uh, affiliation, although my wife said to me, uh, don't be so silly, and I thought, well, that's good enough for me, you know what I mean? And what was it about Jim Davidson? I think I first saw Jim Davidson and I in the lie uh, benefit gig uh, many, many years ago. No, I might be wrong about that. That might have been somebody else. Uh, anyway, he was uh, he, he was a similar kind of comedian, in my opinion, almost identical except that his, uh, his, his characters were drawn from a sort of a, a, an EastEnders kind of uh, backdrop. Like EastEnders, the uh, soap opera? No, no, this was funny and humorous and, uh, and worthwhile, I thought. But yeah, that's, that's what I think. Well, thank you very much, Arthur, for your call. If you like this channel, like and subscribe our page. Share it with your friends. If you understand the underlying message here, which is about entertainment and fun, keep smiling, then continue to stay with us. I look forward to interacting with you in the future.